Officer Gotti of the, the Panama City Police Department that I, I, when I went to Friday Fest a couple of months ago, they said they don't want you down here no more. I haven't done anything. I haven't broken any laws. I had political debates with the people when Donald Trump, you know, uh, was down there. Not, I mean, you know, the uh, people representing Donald Trump, Mark ah. Rubio, and uh, you know, Ted Cruz, and and I'd like to know, is it okay for a cop? Eric Wood put claimed that Eric Wood is a Panama City Police. Eric Wood is a Panama City Police officer who accused me of stealing something at Friday Fest, which I didn't do, and I caught him in a lie. And then, and then, so an officer Gotti backs him up, and it seems to me, see, the, the police have something called the Florida Policeman's Bill of Rights. Us citizens don't have nobody protecting us. Okay, sir, uh, and I want to be able to look into this for you, but I need your name in order to do that. Okay, first of all, if I'm giving you, it's just like when an officer goes to an investigation and there's somebody who can't speak, they do all kinds of investigations, and I'm giving you the name of the officer, Sergeant Stryker, and I'm giving you the name of Eric Wood of the Panama City Police Department, and I'm also giving you Officer Gotti of the Panama City Police Department. Yes, and I have that, but you're relating it to a specific event, and in order for me to relate it to that specific event, I need to know your name so I can get the specific. Yeah, see, they, they, she's, a, she's a, a research assistant. She can't figure out. All of them are like, oh, gee whiz. We can't, we can't call the, uh, the fucking idiot clown department and go, uh, we've been getting calls from people, uh, somebody referring about Friday Best. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they can't do no research and look, even though I give the fucking names of the people. See, they want, they want to expose the people and terrorize the people who only are trying to just live in fucking peace. Where nobody came up to them and said, hey, this person broke the fucking law. This person unprovokingly took a slug at me. There, there's no photographic fucking proof of no goddamn damages or anything like that. Okay, then what happens, Tiffany, is... Uh, uh, let me ask you something, Tiffany. Have you ever heard those loud car stereos going up and down the road? Yes. Okay, Tiffany, I have... I had false charges put on me by a sergeant striker of the Panama City Police Department. Yeah, I have that. And it seems to me like, Tiffany, they make it next to impossible for somebody to turn in dirty cops. Have you spoken to internal affairs at the Panama City Police Department? I, okay, here I've tried talking to a Lieutenant Morris of the Panama City Police Department. I tried talking to a Deputy Chief Clayton of the Panama City Police Department. I tried talking to a Lieutenant Nelson of the Bay County Sheriff's Department. I, I called Scott Irvin's office, Police Chief Scott Irvin's office. I talked to a Laura Olson, and it's like everybody gives me a runaround. Teresa England is the Secretary for uh, Police uh, Bay County Sheriff, Frank McKeithen. And I even called the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, and it seemed to me like whoever I talk to, it's next to impossible to have charges put on a dirty cop. Okay. Now I'm giving you, when you can talk to Lieutenant Morris of the Panama City Police Department, okay. he, he, I went to Friday Fest down there, and I played guitar down there, and, and yeah, I get in lively political debates. But is that a reason to take and say that I'm going to be arrested if I go to a Friday Fest because all I'm doing down there is doing active political debates? Is that arrestable a defense? Offense? Okay, in order for me to help you out here, you know, or direct you exactly where you need to go, I do need your name and your number now. All you gotta do is call, talk to Lieutenant Morris of the Panama City Police.
Police Department. He is well... See, the reason why they want my number, then they can take and they can pass it all around. And they, they got caller ID, and then any time I call them, they probably put a great big motherfucking sign up. Do not call this, do, do not answer this fucking number. Hang up on this motherfucker, because we can't figure out no way to shake him. See, these, these motherfuckers, they live lives of where they are, they, they are, they live a dark life. They live a life of conniving and everything like that. And so when it, when it comes to somebody who does not live their life as a fucking conniver, as a false, a person that puts false claims on people, that tries to get along with their fellow man, they can't fucking handle it. Clear of me because you just acknowledged it. And I don't understand. I don't understand why is it I've got to, you know, uh, Tiffany, why is it I've got to expose myself to dirty cops? I guess that's why cops can go around and rape whoever the hell they want, right? Uh, I didn't hear your question, but, you know, we're the state attorney's office, so this is the first time I'm, I'm hearing from you. Okay, I'm, I'm giving you, I'm giving you contact Shane R. Van. He's well aware of me. Contact uh, Shane R. Van, where I begged him not to drop the charges. July 15th. No, June 15th, 2015, I was scheduled to go to a jury trial where I went six months. And not one time did that idiot clown, Sergeant Stryker, not one time did he have to go to court. But if I would have missed one at court appearance, I would have been thrown in jail. Now, I can't understand, Tiffany. I can't understand why they make it so hard. I want, I want, uh, Eric, what is the Panama City Police Department arrested? I want Gotti arrested for criminal conspiracy. And I want Sergeant Stryker arrested too right now as of May 3rd, 2016. I understand you have something done. That's why I'm asking you for your contact information. I'm giving you contact, contact, contact Lieutenant Morris of the Panama City Police Department. He knows what's going on. He, okay, sir, I'll he, do that. He's, uh, Tiffany? Yes, sir. Tiffany, it's like this. And I am not for any kind of rape. Okay, what about that, that cop that was, uh, Oklahoma cop that was raping young women? Raping because he knew that they had criminal offenses. Okay, I'm being raped of my rights. I don't know why I'm not declared the victim. I am a victim of dirty cops. I'm, it, does somebody have to be raped before anybody's declared a victim? Yes, I have been raped of my rights. I want, I want Eric Wood of the Panama City Police Department arrested. Criminal conspiracy under 838 of the Florida statutes to violate his public servant oath under 876 of the Florida statutes. He did perjury under 837 of the Florida statutes. Why don't you do this? I got my proof right now. Go to Jim Bikeman, Friday Fest Cop Crimes. Go on YouTube right there and you'll see where you have enough to arrest them people right now. How long have you been with the state's attorney's office, Tiffany? All together? Yeah. Seven and a half years. Can I get your last name again, please? So I can write it down? Sure. R-O-Y-S-E-O-N. R-O-Y-S-E-S-E-O-N. What is it now? R-O-Y-S-E-O-N. I'm going to tell you something, Tiffany. You know you are the most professional that I've run across so far. I have tried talking to so many people, just like these super long car stereos. Did you know under 3015 of the Florida statutes that it's the duty of Frank McKeithen, holier than thou, claims he's a Christian in God we trust, but he has allowed these boom cars to go up and down the road for years and years and years? Idiot clown Scott Irvin has allowed these boom cars to go up and down the road. I know exactly what's going on. The boom cars are irritation devices, and then they can throw more people in jail. 
Now, why, under 6005 of Florida statutes, it's the duty of the state's attorney, Glenn Hess, to arrest every one of these phone cars that are going up and down the road. Why hasn't anything been done? I'll add that to your inquiry that I have going here. I am writing this down, just so you know, okay? Well, I'm going to tell you something, Tiffany. Yes, sir. I hope you don't get in trouble for this, but I've never run across anybody that was as professional as you. Now, I appreciate that, sir. Well, let's put it this way, Tiffany. I know about Title IX that gave women the rights to be able to be able to go anywhere in a corporation. But it seems to me that there are very few women that even think about the rights of other people. And I'd like to include you as one that did. Well, thank you, sir. So, um... I, so I do have the information that you gave me, and I'm, I'm going to get that, compile it, and then I'll pass it along to the chief assistant, okay? And then, and then look, and then look... Now, notice where it says, I'll pass it on to the chief assistant. It's always, I can't do anything. But I'll pass it along. Fuck you. Fuck you and your problems. I'll fucking pass it on. And the chief assistant is the fucking trash basket. They got on there on their fucking baskets. Oh, this is the chief assistant, whoever the fuck that is. The YouTube video of where, when I was down at Friday Fest, see, I played guitar, okay? I am, I've, I've actually had uh, one police officer, the Panama City Police Department, give me a guitar, but I'm not going to mention his name because the thing is this is, I don't want him to be in harm's way. I had another officer teach me under the double eagle. There are cops that know that I am a good harmless person, that I'm having these charges put at me. In other words, Lieutenant Moore said, we've given you a trespass warning. An unlawful trespass warning because I did not do anything. As a matter of fact, do you think it's right that a cop could say, look here, if I catch you at this grocery store, I'm going to arrest you. I'm putting a trespass warning on you. They could literally do this all over town. I had one cop even say that I ride a bicycle, okay? I had one cop say to me a couple of months ago when I was riding down the road on 23rd Street, that if I didn't get up on the sidewalk, I was going to be arrested. And then I tried to get the cops of the Panama City Police Department because I know that they got GPS devices in their vehicles. I gave the...